Hello everyone, we will be discussing the equation of a line, yung iba't ibang form kung paano natin marerepresent ang isang linya sa Cartesian coordinate plane. Magsimula muna tayo sa ating general equation. Ang general equation ng isang line ay ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, wherein yung a, yung b, at c natin ay constants. With that said, meron tayong limit na yung a can be equal to 0, and yung B, pwede rin siyang maging 0 para makabuo tayo ng line. Pero, hindi pwede na yung A natin, tsaka yung B, ay sabay na magiging 0. Hindi tayo makakabuo ng line kapag ganun. Now that we have discussed yung general equation, proceed na tayo sa ating point-slope form. Kaya sa tinawag na point-slope form, kasi makukuha natin siya kapag given tayo ng isang point sa line at yung slope niya. Kapag given tayo ng point with the coordinates x sub 1 and y sub 1, and then meron din tayong slope na m, then our point slope form is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Madali lang naman makarating sa form na to, ang kailangan lang natin gawin ay isubstitute si y sub 1 nung ating point dito, then yung x coordinate nung ating point dito naman, and lastly our slope m, where yung slope defines the inclination or yung steepness nung ating line. If you want to look sa isang mas detalyado na explanation about the slope M, meron akong separate na video, ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa ating description. You may check that out. Para mas maintindahan natin, i-apply natin itong mga to sa isang example. Number one, we have to graph then find the general equation of the line passing through our point. Meron tayong isang point and ang slope niya ay negative 3. Since given tayo ng isang point and then yung slope, pwede natin siyang gawin into our point slope form. Igagraph natin siya tapos ililipat natin yung point slope form into our general equation. Kaya alalahanin natin yung ating general equation na ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Gawin na natin yung problem na to. Una, igraph muna natin siya. Ang point natin ay 4, 1. Andito siya sa part na to. And then, ang slope niya represented by letter m is equal to negative 3. Ang slope natin is equal to rise over run. Ang ibig sabihin ng rise ay yung pagbabago sa y-axis at yung run naman yung pagbabago sa ating x-axis. Since ang slope natin ay negative 3, gagawin ko siyang negative 3 over 1. Kasi kailangan natin ng fraction dito sa slope natin, our rise is negative 3, ang run naman natin is positive 1. Tuloy tayo sa ating graph, dahil yung rise niya ay negative, ibig sabihin gagalaw tayo sa ating y-axis pero pababa. Now, looking at our Cartesian plane mula kay 4, 1, bababa ako ngayon ng tatlong units. From 1 to 0 to 1 and then to 2. That is for our rise. For our run, positive na siya. Ang movement ng run ay towards our x-axis. Kaya mula dito, uusod ngayon ako ng isang unit sa ating x-axis. Kaya yung rise na negative 3 at run na negative 1 ay pupunta dito sa point na to. Then mula dito, gumawa pa tayo ng isang point, rise is negative 3, so bababa ulit ako ng tatlo, mula kay negative 2 to negative 3 to negative 4 and to negative 5. Then same na run na 1, so uusod din ako ng isang unit mula dito papunta sa ating positive x-axis, then this is our second point. Para ma-graph natin yung line, let us just connect our points. And finally, ito na yung line natin passing through our point for 1 na merong slope na negative 3. We are done dun sa pag-graph. Ang susunod natin ay hahanapin natin yung general equation. Let's start with our point slope form y minus y sub 1. This is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Ang point natin ay 4, 1. Kaya ang x sub 1 natin ay positive 4. Substitute lang natin siya dito. Then ang ating y sub 1 naman ay 1. Isa substitute natin siya dito. And finally, yung slope natin na negative 3 ang ilalagay natin dito. So we have y minus y sub 1 is 1 is equal to, ang slope natin ay negative 3 times x. And lastly, ang x sub 1 natin ay 4. Now we arrive at our point slope form. Kailangan na lang natin siyang isimplify para maging general equation na ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Now let us do the operations. Left side natin, y minus 1 pa rin. This is equal to, pero sa right side natin, pwede kong i-distribute si negative 3 kay x, tsaka kay 
negative 4. So we have negative 3 times x, that is negative 3x. Tapos negative 3 times negative 4, negative times negative, that is positive, kaya positive 12. Then according to our general equation, dapat magkasama si x at si y. Kaya ang gagawin ko, si negative 3 ay ililipat ko sa kabila. Tapos yung right side, 0 na lang. Kaya si 12, ililipat ko rin siya sa kabilang side ng ating equation. Kaya yung negative 3x natin ay magiging positive 3x, tapos si y ay yun pa rin siya, plus y, minus 1, tapos yung positive 12 ay magiging negative 12. So this is now equal to 0. Then perform na lang natin yung operation na negative 1 minus 12. This is 3x plus y. And then negative 1 minus 12 dahil subtraction siya ng integers. Pwede ko tong gawing addition and then baguhin yung sign ni 12 from positive to negative. Kaya ang negative 1 plus negative 12, this is negative 13. This is equal to 0. Now we arrive at our general equation where yung a natin is 3. And then, yung b natin is just 1, yung kasama ni y. Then, ang c naman natin ay negative 13. Tingin ulit tayo sa ating Cartesian plane. This line is 3x plus y minus 13 is equal to 0. That is for our point-slope form. Para sa ating pangalawa, we will be going with our slope-intercept form. Kung ang point-slope form, given tayo ng isang point, tsaka yung slope, Ang slope-intercept form naman, given tayo nung slope nung line and yung intercept, specifically the y-intercept. Ang form niya ay y is equal to mx plus b, where etong m natin, this is our slope, and then yung b natin, this is our y-intercept. Kapag sinabi natin na y-intercept, eto yung point sa y-axis kung saan dumadaan yung ating line. Mamaya sa graphing natin, makikita natin kung gaano gumawa ng linya kapag given na si y-intercept. So, no more delays. Let us start with our second example. Again, kailangan natin i-graph and then kunin yung general equation nung line with a slope of 3 over 2 and y-intercept of negative 4. Looking at our Cartesian plane, yung y-intercept, again, eto yung point sa y-axis kung saan tumatama yung line. Since negative 4 yung ating y-intercept, Yung line na hinahanap ng problem ay tumatama dito sa y is equal to negative 4. So ngayon, kung gagawa tayo ng graph, ang slope natin is equal to 3 over 2. Ang rise natin ay 3, ang run naman natin ay 2. Kaya mula kay negative 4 kay y, aangat lang tayo ng tatlong units, positive naman siya, and then pupunta tayo sa ating positive x-axis ng 2 units. Kaya this blue line, aakit tayo ng tatlo mula kay negative 4, to negative 3, to negative 2, hanggang kay negative 1. Ang run naman natin ay 2, kaya uusod din tayo ng dalawa mula dito, 1 and then 2. This is our next point. Tapos tuloy lang natin yung graph. Akit ulit ako ng tatlo, 2x is equal to 0, to 1 and then 2. Tapos yung run natin at 2, so usod din ako ng dalawa, 2 positive 3 and positive 4. Then this is our second point. Ganun lang kadali mag-graph given tayo ng y-intercept at ng slope. Then, gawa na tayo ng line by connecting the points. Then, this is our line. Ngayon, kunin na lang natin si ating general equation. Our y-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. Ang slope natin ay 3 over 2. Isa-substitute na lang natin siya dito. And then, yung y-intercept natin na negative 4 ang ilalagay natin kay b. Kaya ito ay magiging y is equal to, slope is 3 over 2, kaya this is 3 over 2 times x, plus yung y-intercept natin na negative 4. Then again, ang general equation natin ay ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Kaya yung y natin, ito na lang yung ililipat ko dito sa ating right side, kasi isa lang naman siya. At para maiwan din na positive si x natin. So this is, magiging 0 na lang yung ating left side, 3 over 2x pa rin to, and then si y from positive ay magiging negative. And then etong part na to, gagawin ko na lang siyang negative 4. So this is minus 4. Last step, kung ayaw nyo sa fraction, then let us multiply our equation by yung denominator ni x na 2. Kasi kapag ginawa natin yan, our equation will be 0 times 2, this is still 0, this is equal to 3 over 2x times 2, mawawala na yung denominator na 2, kaya ito ay magiging 3x. 
And then 2 times negative y, this will become negative 2y. Tapos si negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Last step, pagpalitin na lang natin yung ating left side at right side ng ating equation. This will become 3x minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Kaya itong line na to with a slope of 3 over 2 and y-intercept of negative 4 can be represented as 3x minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. And that is how we graph and find the general equation kapag ang given lang natin ay yung slope at yung y-intercept. Para naman sa ating pangatlo, tuling example, we have to graph again and then hahanapin ulit natin yung general equation pagkatapos nung line natin that is passing through our points 1, 0, and 3, 4, and then ang y-intercept niya ay negative 2. Kunin muna natin yung graph para alam natin yung sinosolve natin. Simula tayo sa ating points 1, 0, and 3, 4. Ang 1, 0 ay around this point, and then ang 3, 4 naman ay nandito. Next, trabawuhin naman natin yung ating y-intercept. Ang y-intercept, eto yung point sa ating y-axis kung saan dumadaan din yung ating line. Kaya kapag ang y-intercept natin ay negative 2, yung line natin ay tatama din dito sa point na to. Then, meron na tayong tatlong points, gawan na lang natin siya ng isang line. And tapos na tayo dun sa graph ng ating line. Madali lang siya kasi we were able to plot 3 points. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa pagsasolve ng ating general equation. If we look at our given, meron tayong dalawang points at yung y-intercept. Isa lang yung form na may involved na y-intercept and that is our slope intercept form and that is y is equal to mx plus b wala na tayong problema sa b kasi meron na tayong y intercept na negative 2 we only have to look for the value of yung slope which is m saan kaya natin pwedeng kunin yung value ng ating m kung titignan natin we are given with 2 points meron tayong formula para makuha yung slope given 2 points and that is the slope is equal to Yung change in y, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1, all over yung change naman sa x, which is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Para sa mas detalyadong application nitong formula na to, I also created a separate video, pwede nyo tignan yung link sa ating description. Now, gamitin na natin itong formula na to sa problem natin. Hayaan natin na si 1, 0 ang maging point 1. With that, yung 1 na to, this is our x sub 1. Yung 0 natin yung y sub 1. Tapos si 3, 4 naman yung ating point 2, kaya si 3 ang x sub 2, then si 4 ang y sub 2. Then, isubstitute na natin yung values nila dito sa ating formula. Ang y sub 2 natin is 4, ang y sub 1 naman is 0. So, this is over. Ang x sub 2 naman natin ay 3, pero ang x sub 1 is 1. So, this is equal to 4 minus 0 is just 4, and then 3 minus 1 is just 2. Kaya yung slope natin, that is just equal to 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. Dahil nakuha na natin yung value ng ating m, pwede na natin siyang isubstitute dito sa ating slope-intercept form. Completing our slope-intercept form, that is y is equal to, ang slope na nasolve natin is 2, kaya this is already 2x plus yung y-intercept natin na negative 2. Then simplify ko na lang tong part na to, this is y is equal to, 2x, si plus negative 2 gagawin na lang nating minus 2. Ngayong nandito na tayo sa ating slope-intercept form, ilipat na natin siya into our general equation. Our general equation is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Kailangan natin pagsamahin yung x sa yung y, kaya si y ay ililipat ko dito sa kabila. Kaya yung left side natin will become 0, and then eto ay 2x pa rin, Si positive y ay magiging negative y and then still minus 2. Then interchange na lang natin yung ating left side at right side ng ating equation. Ang general equation ng ating line is 2x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. This is our final answer. Yung line na to na pinlat natin have an equation 2x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. At eto na yung buong process kung paano tayo mag-graph ng line at kung paano kukunin yung general equation kapag ang given ay yung point at yung slope, yung slope at yung y-intercept, o kaya naman dalawang points at yung y-intercept.